In the last two videos in this channel, we have learned about Prometheus and how it works. We also learned about the Prometheus ecosystem items such as uh, Prometheus client libraries and also Node Exporter. We also learned how to monitoring a Linux box using the Node Exporter. But our main goal here is to learn about how to get and how to monitor asterisk metrics in the Prometheus. There are two methods to monitor asterisk systems via Prometheus. The first method is to use the asterisk built-in Prometheus uh, support configuration file. There is a file etc asterisk prometheus.conf that you can go there and enable the Prometheus metrics. Of course, it has another step as well because you need to enable a, a web server that we will uh, learn about that, a mini HTTP server for the asterisk. And then you need to go to your Prometheus server and uh, scrape the asterisk metrics. This is the first method. The second method, of course, is uh, to use the node exporter. Uh, a node exporter is written for the asterisk that uh, we can install it and use the node exporter to monitor the asterisk. In this video, we will learn about the first method, the first method that is uh, monitoring the asterisk metrics via asterisk built-in Prometheus configurations. All the configuration files or commands that I'm using in this video is all documented in my GitHub account and I put the link in the description of this video. So let's go to the configuration. In order to configure the asterisk uh, to expose it metrics, we need to configure two files, etc asterisk prometheus.conf and etc asterisk http.conf. Also, we need to go to our Prometheus server and configure a file etc prometheus prometheus.yml uh, that we tell the Prometheus where to go and what to scrape. So let's go to the configurations. They are very uh, straightforward and easy to configure. Let's start by etc asterisk prometheus.conf. This is where we tell the asterisk to expose its metrics. So we need to enable the metric. Uh, as we can see, I, I set the tag uh, for the enable to yes. Also, we want to show the core metrics uh, we set to yes, and we set a username and password here. This username and password is to avoid unauthorized access to our uh, asterisk Prometheus exposed metrics, because if we don't use this username and password, then everyone who has the URL, who knows the ports and our IP address can uh, access our metrics, and we don't want that. So that's a security layer that we have for the asterisk, and it's good to enable it, the authentication username and password. Of course, uh, the next step is to enable the asterisk mini HTTP. So in order to do that, we need to open the etc asterisk http.conf. Uh, you need to enable, uh, set the tag to enable. By default, it's uh, set to no, so you need to change it to yes. And you need to set the bind ad IP address and the bind port. The default bind port is 8088. And uh, the, bind address, the bind IP address is your IP address of the Linux servers. For example, here I wanted to uh, actually enable the mini HTTP server on my public IP address. So I put the bind ad IP address as our public IP address. And uh, of course, in the previous video, we need to uh, enable, we need to reload our asterisk server so that both uh, HTTP.conf and uh, actually, our Prometheus.conf are reloaded, so we can use this asterisk-rx core reload. Next step is to go to our Prometheus server. If you don't know how to install it or how to actually edit this file, you need to watch the previous videos. Uh, so I assume that you already watched that video. So you need to go to etc Prometheus Prometheus.yml, and then you need to add a, a new job name. For example, here I add a job name and name it Prometheus and then I set a target to my IP address port 8080. So this is the target that I want to actually monitor. This is my asterisk server port 8080. And of course I need to systemctl restart Prometheus so that these configurations are enabled. These configuration files, as I told you, it is in my GitHub account and you can actually go and uh, fetch from there. And next step, if you go to the uh, your uh, Prometheus system, uh, slash targets, here is my IP address of my Prometheus server, uh, slash targets, you will see that the, actually our uh, Prometheus server and our asterisk server, are, uh, our asterisk server is up. And if you click on this, of course, you need to enter the username and password that we have entered in the asterisk configurations. But you can see that it's up and the uh, Prometheus server is uh, scraping the 
metrics and you can see the last scrape time. Also, if you go to the Prometheus main panel, you can see now you have the metrics, for example, like asterisk score uptime seconds. This is a asterisk uh, parameter that you can actually execute that query. And uh, this shows that our asterisk metrics are exposed and our Prometheus server is uh, able to connect to our asterisk servers and escape that metrics. Of course, uh, we still need to uh, do more items that we will learn in the next videos. But up to now, your Asterisk server Prometheus is enabled and our Prometheus server is able to connect to the Asterisk and scrape the metrics. That's what we wanted to achieve in this video. In the next video, we will learn uh, how to, <coughs> sorry, we will learn how to uh, actually uh, define rules or uh, use the query language, the uh, prompt QL, actually the Prometheus query language to get the meaningful items from, or meaningful items from our Asterisk server. Thank you for watching and if you have any question please put into the comments below.